<laughs> All this rain will stop as soon as I get my weather control check. Yeah, you bet. One weather check for Mr. Wally Walrus. Oh, joy. Rain, rain, go away. The ball is gonna make the sun today. Sunny side coming up. Nah. Fun in the sun, here I come. It's working, it's working. Fun groovy volleyball at pool party coming up. An invitation. Pool party at Wally's, yeah. No, pool party at Woody's, yeah. <laughs> Woodpecker. I showed that soiree stealing Woodpecker a thing or two. Check me out, everybody. I'm gonna try a double half gainer. Ah. With a twist. <laughs> <laughs> now, where is that no good party thief? Aha! <laughs> hey, everyone. Plenty of fun and sun over here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a dance party. What's that? Those are Swedish meatballs. I boiled them myself. Care to bob for Swedish meatballs? Ew! Gross! Hey, you guys! Why don't you come to a real swinging pool party? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I bet the hay vain! <laughs> Listen, you meddlesome fowl. Those are my party guests. Ah, uh, cool down, Wally. Woodpecker. <laughs> now, uh, I'll go get cleaned up, and I'll be back before you can say, Who is that handsome wood a pecker? Now that you're cleaned up, I'll help you dry off. <laughs> dry off. Sunny and beautiful in the Southland, with the highs of 89 degrees in the valley and 92 degrees in the downtown area. <laughs> what the? Mm-hmm. Never saw 
saw a chicken coop where the chickens weren't a squawking. <laughs> Explaining what's going on here, buddy? You destroyed my party, and now I'll destroy you! Oh! 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 <laughs> and now to shake things up a bit with a little earthquake. <laughs> no good, dirty. Shut him down or my name is... <sighs> you throw the best parties. Here's my lift ticket, Woody. You should go with some of your girlfriends. I don't have any girlfriends, Woodpecker. Yeesh. No wonder she doesn't go out much. Hmm. But if Meanie had a gal pal to go downtown with, then maybe she'd get out of here for a while. You must be that adorable Miss Meanie, my sweet nephew Woody has told me so much about. Who are you? Why, I'm Woody's favorite Aunt Pecky from Louisiana. I love what you've done with this place. It's so early neglect. Say, I was just about to go out for a fun makeover day. Why don't you come along with me? Just us girls. Oh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of a homebody. Be, besides, I've got lots to do here. Blow out some earwax. Uh, put out some toe jam. Uh, count my change. Change, exactly. And you know what they say, dear. Change begins with you. Yo? Yeah. Did I say yow? Oh, shucks. I meant you. Uh, change begins with you, dear. And if you're a homebody, then so am I. Why are you closing the shades? Because, dear, it's time for Aunt Pecky's miracle makeover treatment. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have nosy neighbors knowing all our secrets now, can we? <laughs> I like secrets. First, we're gonna unpack those bags. Oh. And we'll do it with Aunt Pecky's all-natural eye burner. It's a patented formula, you know. <laughs> Doesn't that just make you feel ever so royal? Yeah, I feel kind of like Caesar. Caesar salad! <laughs> or a fruit cup. <clears throat> Don't you move a muscle. I'll be back in two shakes of a woodpecker's tail. <laughs> Pool goes in the back, boys. Beneath the tree. And try to keep it down. Neighbors, you know. 
what you did. You wrecked the pool and the lawn. We'll fix it, ma'am. You have Bonehead's promise. Well, you just better, Buster. Be Pecky! Am I done yet, Pecky? Oh, my, yes. But now, Pecky's perky permanent ways, here you come. <laughs> Having a makeover partner is so much more fun than I ever thought. <laughs> Something smells like garbage. Garbage? Oh, that's because you've been down in the dumps so long, hon. Dumps? Ha! I get it. I smell like garbage because I've been down in the dumps. Ha! <laughs> that, that's a good one, Pecky. <sighs> Just look. You can hold down a roof with those nails, child. Oh! <laughs> Tickles! <laughs> Tickles! Tickles! Well, it's about ding-dong time. Now hurry up and get everything installed. I haven't got all day. Missed you! Now hold your breath. Mud pack! <laughs> It'll take years off your face. Ooh! Hair's done! The <laughs> Voodoo! I feel like a new woman! Da da! And a new woman demands a new outfit! Now you tidy up and get out of those old things! <laughs> you! <-hoo. laughs> out with the old you and in with the new you! <laughs> oh! Why? I, I, I don't know what to say! I, I love the new me! You keep the love fest going, Mimi. It's been so much fun keeping you busy, busy, busy all afternoon. Oh, oh my, how time flies. Kind of like me. I gotta go now. Toodles. But we'll do this again real soon, you bet. Bye-bye. Thanks, fellas. Later. I did it. Swimming pool, here I come. Hey, where's my pool? What? Hey, what's the big idea? Oh, hello, Woodpecker. Today was my lucky day. I got a makeover from your lovely aunt, and this notice says I won this pool. But you can't swim in it. They put it under the wrong tree. But do tell my new best friend, Aunt Pecky, she's invited any time. Oh, I will. Pecky! <laughs> Isn't this fun? <laughs> <laughs> you said it, sister. Oh, <laughs> that's right, Pecky. <laughs> Y'all. Stay tuned for the Mr. Alias Action Hour. Today's adventure, the attack of... No! Not the antenna again! Ah, where am I gonna get a new antenna before my show starts? <laughs> I love the sound of a sucker in the morning. <laughs> Buzz Buzzard Super Duper Deluxe Satellite Dish. And now for the Coupe de Grass. Oh, when you're good, you're me. Good day, sir. I am Buzz Buzzard of Buzz's Satellite TV Service. Wow! That's right, sucker. Or I uh, mean, sir. Our rooftop dish here is powered by uh, 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 a solar plutonium reactor. <laughs> oh, he is good. So it gets 1138 channels, downloads video games, does your dishes, files your taxes, uh, takes out the trash, and raises your children. All for the low, low price of just 50 bucks. Will it get me the Mr. Alias Action Hour right now? Oh, indubitably. 
then you gotta deal. Jolt gave us both superpowers, and mine are gonna make me rich, rich, rich. Stop, thief! Ah! Ah! Police! Time to make like a banana and split. Ah! Yeah! This is not my day. <laughs> so, you want to play rough, huh? <laughs> Super Woody, with feathers appearing. And now, mister, there's the man. Oh, yeah? Well, there's also the matter of... I ain't giving it to you. <laughs> Freaky feet, do your stuff. Huh? So long, bouncing boy. Get back here! <laughs> Beating bullet train full of dough. <laughs> it's Super Buzzard! Coming to rob a town near you. <laughs> Super Woody gets his tough in gear! Ew! You owe me 50 bucks! Yeah? Take this for an IOU, Woodpecker! I'll take whatever you got, Bob! Change channels the old fashioned way. Nah. 
We apologize for going off the air due to a strange electrical interference. However, we'll now pick up the Mr. Alias Adventure Hour from the very beginning with no further interruptions. <laughs> We search for the truth behind the legendary fur-bearing trout. This week on Apparently We Don't Know. Fact, fiction, or just really bad fashion statement? Apparently, we don't know. Because of its hairy hide, the fur-bearing trout is only found in cold climates. It could be in northern Canada, the Arctic Circle, or even outside an igloo. Research shows the fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support his own fur. <coughs> the fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support its own fur. Yeah, it's all fun and games till somebody loses an eye with these things. Oh, and uh, thanks for the hat, bub. You gotta watch your hygiene there, bub. There's critters living down here. Can I help you there, bub? I got a business to run here. You gave up all rights to that hat when you used it for bait to try and catch me. I can't be giving it back. This ain't no lost and found. starting to get under my gills. That's the problem with this business. It's all laundry. Whites, darks, dry cleaning. A trout's work is never done. Trout season's over, kid. Didn't you get the memo? This is a genuine... Whoa! Listen, Beb, I need this coat in order to run my business here. Well, since saps like you think I'm the fur-bearing trout, they try to bait me with all these items of clothing. This coat is the key to the clothing empire you see before you. Without this coat, 
I'm just some old trout heading upstream for a good time. So you're gonna have to stick to your own gig, bub, and leave me to mine. See you around, small fry. And action! We thought for sure his fur amongst all this snow would make him stick out like a sore thumb, but apparently, we didn't know. Huh? Listen, bub, I thought I told you to scram. Doug Nuts is here with his film crew to shoot an expose that will broadcast tonight on an exclusive pay-per-view that will air all around the world. Operators are standing by to take your order. If they find me, I'll be ruined for sure. You know what they do to fur baron trout imposters? Well, it ain't pretty. You gotta help me, little buddy. Come on, what can I do? The coat, you're right. The code. Take it and get out of here. Just take it. And some of these long johns, too. I'll be back, though. They can't keep Lefty the Trout out of the clothing business forever. No matter what the law says. So far, no sign of the little devil. But wait, what's that? It can't be. Ladies and gentlemen, thought to be extinct since before the Jurassic era, it's the fur-bearing penguin! Oh, uh, Mr. Penguin, wait! We'd like to ask you a few questions there. M Mr. Penguin? Hello? hello? Come on, crew! Uh, hello? Stay on uh, him! I say there. A, Keep a me word, focused. please, Mr. We'll get a penguin. reverse angle later please. on. Please! Yep, still running my ad. <laughs> Professional babysitting service for the rich and famous. 500 bucks an hour. They must have a lot of dough stash taking care of all those rich people's kids. Looks like I've got work to do. This babysitting's gonna be a cinch! Bring on the babies, bring on the bucks! Hey, on nanny and a hot cha-cha! Hello, Woody's babysitting service. This is old lady Buzzard. Would you take care of Junior while I get my jewels polished? Oh boy, my first customer. Wow, that was fast. Coming! Hello? Hmm. <sighs> Whoa, heavy baby. Snacky, wacky, baby, baby. <laughs> While that sap's busy, I'll find out where he keeps all his babysitting dough. Babies need lots of vitamins, but they can't eat big people food. Hmm. All I've got is big people food. Aha! Better try and take whatever I can. Hold on, little guy. I'll be there in a minute. I'm coming, big ugly baby. Here you go. Oh. 
<laughs> Yummy, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Smells like baby needs a diaper change. <laughs> Ah, oh, phooey. I don't have any diapers. But I bet I can make some. Huh? Here's your diaper. And it's self-adhesive, too. Woo-hoo! <laughs> to change diaper, take bold C to slot F, then tuck tab A into... Ah, forget it. Let's see here. <laughs> nope, that's not it. Nope again. Maybe this way. Hmm, no good. There. Doesn't that feel better? <laughs> Here, baby, you play nice with the little rattle while I catch up on the morning news. Sandwiches, hot broth, and all my buddies. <laughs> Hiya, buddy. No! Sometimes, you know. Ah, uh, don't worry, Nuthead. Together we can beat any ghost we find at that old abandoned house. Abandoned oh, no. house? Sounds perfect for scaring those two right out of their little wooden heads. <laughs> oh, Billy, that would be the most joyous of fun. <laughs> but, but, but what if there are ghosts haunting that place within? There's no such things as ghosts. <laughs> What's the matter? Your collar on too tight? Three, two, one, and action! 
tonight on Splinter and Mothead's Totally True Tales of Terror and Scary Stuff You See in the Dark, we will film the very first ghost capture ever right uh, behind this... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this should be sincerely as easy as taking the third grade for the fourth time, Billy. <laughs> as they cannot even open the simplest of doors. Yeah, all we gotta do is jump out and say, Boo! These kids will run like a drippy nose. Uh... Hey, Splinter, we can't get in. Wait, Nahead. I got an idea. Wood, woodpeckers. Get it? one of my green jelly snacks, which I have come to love so much, Billy. By the way, might I interest you in one of these particularly effervescent treats? No. Now knock it off and help me haunt! Oh, I haven't seen anything this scary since Uncle Woody's meatloaf surprise. Uh. <laughs> I'm repeating just thinking about it. <laughs> Helmet cam! As promised, we will film the capture of a ghost, starting now! <laughs> Those woodpeckers are not seeming to be of the scared variety, boss. Then we gotta make it scarier. Wasn't so bad. Told you we could handle this, Mothead. Deploy Spook Shoot! Quick, we gotta hide! What's that noise? Oh, those would be jelly snacks, Billy. Would you like one now? No, I would not! But that gives me a brainstorm. Come on! Now, without fear, we bravely take you back into the haunt site, ready for another round with that ghost. Louis, your sweet tooth came in handy after all. We could be next! Ghost Hunters, go! Deploy Echo Suction Dart! Yuck! You just ate ghost slime! It's not ghost slime. It's those jelly snacks Louie eats. Those bullies are trying to scare us. Then we should scare them right back. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna scare those guys right out of their underpants. Oh, oh, oh. You have used all of my jelly snacks, of which I no longer have any to eat. Therefore, I am wanting that I should not be part of this scaredom any longer. <laughs> Billy. Oh, b -b 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 Billy. And there's a. What are you g -g 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 going about? <sighs> there's no ghost. <laughs> Get there. Uh-oh. Yes! Ah! We did it! Yay! Hooray! <laughs> I guess there 
are no real ghosts here after all, Splinter. Yeah, but I think there's a killer croc living in Ms. Meanie's toilet. We can film that. <laughs> saw a bog monster in that big puddle outside Mr. Balagali's garden center. Uh-uh. Uh-huh, yeah, uh-uh, no way. Yeah. No way. Yes, it's true. <laughs> in a big insurance premium. Let's go on the rides, Uncle Woody. Gee, uh, don't you want to win one of these fabulous prizes first? Cock-a-doodle-doo to you. Actually, no. Okay, I'm ready to make sure you don't win. <laughs> Uncle Woody. Yeah, thanks, Uncle Woody. See ya. Hey, they hit that target. The dummy didn't dunk, dummy. Well, I think there's some cheating going on here, bub. I want to try for myself. <coughs> Whoa, palsy wowsy, chum o' mine. Put your money away. Don't get a bent beak over losing some dumb calico cockadoodle rooster. <laughs> if you play a kitty game, you only win a kitty prize. But if you play the big games, you win <laughs> the big prizes. Let the games begin. Watch how easy it is, chum. <laughs> Sports car, mister. Hey! Gee, that's too bad, Ace. You lose again. <laughs> I need a bigger mallet. I'm hitting this one out of the park. <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> Whoa! Hey, Uncle Woody! Look at us! <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Woody! This is great! Yeah! There's something funny going on with these games. Buddy, pal, chum, don't get mad. Get even! Why, a woodpecker of your obfuscated talents should try a game of skill! <laughs> Any pointers? Not a chance. The federal type regulations require I uh, uh check the air pressure of that ball before every toss. Perfect. It's just right for sticking it to you. Uh, I mean, uh, sticking it to me. Because uh, I think you're going to win this time for sure, champ. I got some serious questions about your games, mister. And I got just one question for you. Ever play darts? Of course, you need some eye-hands coordination to win this game, sport. They don't call me Eagle Eye Woody for nothing. Uh, I wouldn't want to distract you, so I'll just stand behind you. Dee, dee, dee. 
Oh, you blew it, pal. But you were so close. Wanna try again? Yeah, but this time I'm going for broke. <laughs> That's what I like to see. A real chump. I mean the champ. Just line up my ten darts right here in front of me, bub. We aims to please. I'll just stand out of the... Hey! Oh, ow, ow, ow. How about that? I just won every prize you have, Carney man. You cheated, Woodpecker. Whoa, what about you, Mr. Spring and Glue and fans and step right up and let me rob you blind? Oh! <laughs> step right up, folks. Try your luck. <gasps> yeah! That's right, folks. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> It's so easy to win, folks. You practically float away with all our prizes. No! Some rock candy, please. This blows chunks, mostly the big kind. Yeah! Rigging the games again, eh, Buzz? Well, we have ways of dealing with cheats like you. Okay, fire away, kid. Oh, good! <laughs> I give! I give! Stop already! I'm a drowner! I'll never cheat again! I swear! No! <laughs> <laughs> A sport nut paradise. The crowd goes wild. Woody, Woody, Woody. Huh? Hey, what's the big idea? My dear chap, I was merely admiring your uh, sporting prowess. Yeah? Well, admire it with your hands to yourself, bub. I have a proposition. If you would be so kind as to help my young uh, ward acquire some degree of sporting skill, I would gladly purchase everything you see in this store as payment for your coaching services. Everything in the store for free? Bring on the kid! Hello! <laughs> I come to play with you! Hunter? So good to see you again! Yeah, Woody! I learned sport! I will shoot! I won't play with fox, cause I get the ball! Yeah. Oh, Woody! Where are you? I better get a lot of gear, bub. Oh. Looky here! Practice makes perfect! Put everything in the net. Okay, Woody. Everything in the net. <laughs> that ought to keep old Gunter busy till playoff season. <sighs> Time to catch a few Z's and dream of all my free sporting equipment. Now watch the ball and hit it back when it comes to you. I, I, Woody! <laughs> it's just you against the tennis ball. <laughs> I 
Kid, you'll be a natural at track and field. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Bouncy, bouncy, baby! Who's the smiling lady? All right. Let's see you make... That! Aye, aye, Coach Woody! Oops. Tuba, tuba man can make it there! Sports equipment is worth this. <laughs> what do we play next, Coach Moody? Nothing, Gunter. I quit as coach. Do you hear me? I quit. You can't play hockey. You can't play tennis. You're not cut out for track and field. All you're good for is destroying things. He has the ball. Get him! an astounding job, Woody. You've made Gunter a champion in just one day. <sighs> hmm. Wonder which sport would be less strenuous. An easy game of croquet or a lazy game of badminton? Coach Woody! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Is this the super coach who will teach me to play as good as you, Gunter? Ah, bah, Gunter, you don't need me. You're good enough to be a coach now. Oh, happy, 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 happy day! <laughs> oh, this is fun. Now what? Now we jump and jump and jump! <laughs> I'm a bunny, I'm a bunny, I'm a bunny! Ah, like the old saying goes, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, it's how you keep old Gunter busy playing the game. <laughs> Chickles, Tex Max Restaurant. Yeah. Cool! I like the tongue part. Help wanted. Hmm. This seems like a fun place to work. You, you want a job? I have. Uh... Ever been a car hop? No. Know how to skate? Not really. Close enough, you're hired. Meanie, we've been getting swamped every night at Dinner Rush. I'm putting you in charge of training, uh. Winnie Woodpecker. 
Gotta run, I got a truck alert waiting on the dock. Hi, welcome to Gecko Pacheco's. Why, thank you. Let's get one thing straight, Missy. I've been the car hop here for 22 years. You're not just gonna sweep in here and take over my territory. Now, let's roll! <laughs> Newbies. Huh. Hmm, skinny skates. <laughs> They'll get you every time. Hey, woodpecker wheels, move it or lose it! <laughs> Can't make it too easy for her around here. She might like it and want to stay. <laughs> Nothing like a big tray to weigh you down, I always say. <laughs> this is a pronto delivery to car 27. Senior Ocho's a regular customer, so don't screw up. Don't <laughs> just stand there. You're a meal on wheels. <laughs> Yes, I showed that gal a thing or what? Triple your order for free. Three times as much food for regular price. Triple your order at Gecko Pacheco's today only. This will get rid of that woodpecker once and for all. Come on, where's my order? I've been waiting longer than Excuse me, I was here first. It's triple your order hour, meaning triple the work for you, woodpecker. Um, isn't someone else who works here going to help with this rush? Um, no! Ha, that's a good one. No! Ha. <laughs> She's a fruitcake on skates. Hey! I can handle my job and hers. Car number seven, car number eight, car number nine, car number ten. So, then I said to her, no, get it? No! <laughs> I'm done, I'll take my break now. <laughs> It. There's only one way to get rid of Miss Wheelie Two Shoes. Detour, keep it moving. Find an empty stall anywhere. Have fun. Oh, Winnie, the dinner rush is here, and they all seem to be on your side. Come on, I was here first. When is someone gonna take oh. my own? 15, 76, 42. Oh, they were spread all over. Calm down! Don't get your shorts in a bunch. Everyone will be served in the order they arrive. Somehow. Me, you got a tag team with me. These orders are all over the parking lot. Oh, if you can't handle it, quit! This is how you want to play it? Fine by me. What's that crazy woodpecker doing now? Ha! What did that accomplish? Watch and learn. 82. No, it can't be. No one's ever done those kinds of maneuvers before. She'll win over all my best customers. She'll be here forever. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> Adios, Woodpecker! Little miss, look at me skate. 
I'm a little car hot, short and sweet. Stop! Meanie, your behavior. I have no choice but to fire you. No, no, please, boss. Please let me stay. Please, I'll do and hate the hang. Um, sir. Why? Even though nothing will ever replace my statue, if she'll agree, it's a great idea, Winnie. Daddy, make it talk! Howdy, partner. Welcome to Gecko Pacheco's Tex-Mex restaurant. Man, that's lame. It's three for Thursday. Three meals for the price of one. All right. Keep up the good work, Meanie. Ha! <laughs> I gotta get another job. <laughs> <laughs>